Yo, what is up, you? <coughs> Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's Dark Fang here, back with another video. And today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Ash and pretty much how to get him, how his abilities work, but mostly on how to get him. It's more like a manic farming videos than anything else. And I'll be kind of talking about his abilities and all that. So yeah, let's get on with the video. Somebody tell these bitches the professors here. Uh -huh. You know they chat a box forever, rock it extra weird. weird. They saying this Illuminati shit, puppeteer. Elevated, you ain't even on a second tier. Alright, so if you don't know already, to get Ash, you'll have to farm a, ty a specific type of grenade called the Grenade Manix. And these little guys are pretty hard to find normally, and yeah, farming them is pretty hard. First part of the video, I'll just be talking about how to farm them and well easier e well the easiest way there's not really any really easy way but the easiest way to find them is probably the law of attribution the boss raid and to get to there you'll have to make the law of, Retri law of retribution key in a market and that's one way to get them and that's most probably the easiest way they most they most of the time will spawn there but I didn't do that I, I just tried to find them another way and this is how I got the Ash Pass as followed. For the near optics, I actually found them in Titan, which is on Saturn, about 20 minutes in survival of looking for Manix. I couldn't find any, so I started going to extraction. When I got there, there was a near optic on the floor. I mean, this could have just spawned, or there could have been a Manix there that I didn't find, and the others just killed it. And so, yeah, so Titan is where I got the near optics um, at the end. So yeah, and for the ch for the chassis, I found them in a survival mission during the Natar quest line. I would say it was just luck that I found it, but I had to do the mission a few times because I kept failing it. And every time I found the chassis, no manic, it's just the chassis. As for the systems, I found them in Saturn again. I think it was either Telesto or Ansi, I can't remember which one. It was one of them, and that was from a manic. Uh, yeah, just a manic spawned, and I killed it, and I got the systems from the blueprint, obviously from the market, and so yeah, so manics are usually found in Saturn, and I found one in Uranus, so you could you could find some more. I don't know, I only found one, and in, obviously the law of retribution raid. So yeah, those are three ways I know. I think there's another one, uh, something to do with Darby's quest, the um. There's a quest that Darbo, you have to talk to Darbo to do, and he gives you like three places to go to. If you go to the Grenier Survival, there should be a Manic should spawn after a while. But again, that's luck. It might not spawn if it does, and even if you do find it, you might not even drop the actual Ash part. Now, uh, that'll be annoying. So anyway, is this all worth it? Is that's the real question? Are f going to trouble farming Manics all worth it? Well, my opinion, yes. Ash is actually quite fun since you can't get Ash Prime anymore. It's the only way to get it unless you um, trade it with some trade like Platinum or just buy it for Platinum from someone. But yeah, Ash is actually a really fun frame to play with, in my opinion. He's got his shurikens that do a decent amount of damage even when you're like a lower rank. Um, his invis, I still have to actually like mod for it to get better. I mean, it's quite good to sneak past enemies, but the duration when you're like just ranking up with him ain't that long, it's like two seconds you know, be modding him and ranking up to get that better his teleport is actually quite good to be honest I I use it more than I thought because like when you actually teleport to an enemy it's like, I think you like kick them or something and your melee attack increases I think it's like more finisher damage and his force ability is just great, I mean blade storm it's you just kill everyone in sight if you can kill them and it's quite good and enjoy playing with him Ash is just really good if you haven't got him already you should get him he's actually the first to, like before I started playing Warframe I made a list after looking at a load of Warframes like which ones I wanted Ash was one of the first that I wanted so yeah that's Ash off the list next we have Mesa, Necros Loki's getting built in my foundry so yeah, we'll see. Ash is so far probably my favourite frame. And I say, so yeah, Manix. Go look for the Manix. 
totally worth it or if you have platinum just plat a lot of platinum lying around you can get Ash Prime for a bunch of plat so yeah it's really good and yeah anyway if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe for more video for Warframe and Paladins videos um, join the description link join the description yeah I said that join the discord links in the description um, if I do find like make a decent uh, mod build a build for Ash I'll be sure to make a video on it showing you all guys because you know I suck at making builds but I'm gonna try and make a good build with Ash um, share the video uh, press the notification button to get notified about videos and I'll see you in the next one. Wow.